one of the tools that I'm really excited for. We're just piloting, piloting it now um, and launching it actually for the fall is our VMOC platform. Um, so we, uh, it's a smart resume platform that students can upload their resume. They can determine if it's a res or indicate if it's a resume that whether they're looking for part-time employment or if it's a resume where you're looking for like full-time employment in the field um, or industry that you're studying, um, upload it and then automatically get feedback and ideas for how to improve that resume, you know, sections you could add, ways to better highlight skills. Um, and so, I mean, yeah, excited for that tool and also for some of the other tools that um, we're looking at. There's a few um, in particular we're looking at for supporting international students um, and hoping to, to bring those online um, within the coming year as well. Um, and then our uh, advising, <laughs> advising appointments. Um, and so we uh, offer advising appointments um, sometimes with trained peers, depending on what the appointment is for. Um, and we find that there's a lot of value in um, students meeting with peers who have appropriate training, of course. Um, and the reason why is because those peers, you know, have had the experience. They are students themselves. They've, you know, gone, you know, usually been in Canada for a bit. Um, and so they can really relate to the experience that um, the students they're having meet with. Um, there's really good research around that value of peer interactions. And so that can be a really powerful uh, tool when we give peers that appropriate training um, to help, you know, with part-time resumes and, and part-time job search and pieces like that. And then of course we have our career advisors who are full-time staff um, and our career advisors um, are focusing on some of the more maybe complex um, topics. So that, um, you know, career exploration piece, like Shafali was saying, she had lots of computer experience and background, um, but was kind of looking to switch. And that can be, you know, a more kind of nuanced conversation. Um, and so the career advisors have a lot of great knowledge about Conestoga's, uh, Conestoga's programs, but also about the labor market, you know, different potential career pathways, um, and how uh, have the ability to ask great questions to help students identify um, you know, the right actions for them and the right information and resources. They're also really caring, lovely individuals. And so um, the appointments are kind of another tool in that toolkit that we have to offer um, for students in their career journey. And then moving on, like I mentioned as well, we have the My Career Job Board. And so that gives students access to a variety of job postings. Um, the My Career Job Board is only accessible by Conestoga students and alumni. Um, so that can be uh, an advantage um, sometimes, especially if it's for, you know, particular industries or types of jobs employers may only post on the Conestoga job board. Um, and then any on-campus opportunities through the work study program only are posted on that My Career job board as well. Um, and so we offer, um, we monitor the board and, and nav um, you know, connect with employers to get them to post and approve postings. Um, and offer that service to students. And so I wanted to give an example um, of some of the different ways a student maybe could access the different supports and resources kind of in their journey. Um, and I chose the example of part-time jobs because I know that's something that a lot of uh, students, particularly international students, um, are you know, looking for when they arrive to Canada. Um, and so if we think about um, a part-time job, um, there's you know, really several steps in finding and attaining a part-time job, um, particularly, you know, especially in Canada. And so you, for starting, you have to really understand yourself, you know, your skills, your abilities, um, what you're looking for in a job. I think Banu mentioned, you know, um, some people are offering like, you know, money under the table and maybe it wasn't the most legitimate job, um, which, you know, happens, but also even with, you know, jobs out there being able to, um, really identify for yourself, um, you know, what kind of your priorities are um, and, you know, are you building Canadian experience? That's fantastic. Um, but really starting with understanding yourself and then identifying the types of jobs and industries. And so generally the jobs that students get when they're working part-time um, are not in the fields where they're studying. There's exceptions, of course, um, but a lot of times jobs might be, um, you know, in food service industries, 
um, in you know manufacturing, labor industries, cleaning, different pieces like that. And those jobs, um, even if it's not a job in your industry, can be really valuable for still building Canadian experience. Um, understanding the Canadian workplace, and there can be great transferable skills as well. So those are transferable skills or soft skills, you might hear them called, are things like communication, teamwork, problem solving, critical thinking. Um, and those are the types of uh, skills you can speak to in an interview. And so, um, but identifying those, those industries and so kind of know where, where you're looking or what might be a good fit for you. Of course, searching for jobs as part of the process, applying to jobs, you know, your resume, maybe your LinkedIn profile, and then of course, interviewing. And so if we think about some of those different steps, career services, resources, and services, um, you know, one student may be going through this experience and maybe they first attend a part-time job search workshop and they learn about industries that usually hire students and they gain some strategies for searching for job postings. Um, then uh, they also learn about the My Career Job Board and they use that to search for postings um, in addition to maybe some of the other sites that are mentioned. Um, then the students like, you know what, I think I, based on what I heard in that, I'm going to update my resume a bit. So they go to the student success portal. They use, look at the part-time sample resume and our resume checklist kind of worksheet um, to update their resume um, and make it more tailored for a part-time job because the resume for part-time jobs probably is not going to look like the resume you're using for your, your full-time kind of launching your career job. Um, and then they use interview stream or in the future VMOC um, to practice answering interview questions. And so they kind of have those you know, list of questions and they're answering, recording themselves or saying it and then watching it back and, and getting some feedback. So that could be how one student um, engages with some of the different supports and resources. Maybe another student um, you know, is also looking for a part-time job. So they find and read the working on campus document or tip sheet that's on the student success portal. And then, you know, they're on the portal, they're looking around, they attend a resumes for jo part-time jobs workshop. Um, they realize, oh, well, yeah, I'm going to put some of these things I've learned in the workshop into action. So they use the VMOC platform to strengthen their resume. They upload their resume, they get some feedback, and then let's say they're looking for a job for a while. They're still not sure maybe what the, um, you know, if they've gotten kind of their resume right or they have some questions. So they come in for a resume review um, with a trained peer and get some additional support for the resume. So that could be another way that a student could engage with some resources. And again, the way students engage with our resources differs and depends on the students. Um, but we really uh, like to offer those different ways so that students can pick what's right for them at that time. Um, yeah, and so moving on, just in terms, um, we also, uh, all of our, if you're curious, kind of what's going on, not only with uh, career services, but with the student success services overall at Conestoga, uh, these are the social media platforms. Um, and so you can see that's where, you know, examples of our upcoming workshops are posted, not only for career services, but also um, other areas of Conestoga, such as the student engagement team, offers some great workshops on leadership. You know, writing services has uh, workshops about writing, um, which can be really uh, applicable and powerful depending on your program as well. Mm -hmm.